Assalamualaikum. My name is Jessica Islam. I'm 23 years old. I work for my own company, Interglobal Imports. I produce and import textiles from Bangladesh to Switzerland and all Europe. I really like Bangladesh since it is my home country. My father is from Bangladesh, from Ramanbaria. And um, yeah, I really like the country. I like the difference of the country. They have a lot of um, different uh, categories. They have uh, Sundarban, they have Cox's Bazaar, but they have also a metropole like Dhaka, which is um, comparable to the whole world since it's always full of people, full of cars, full of action. Um, the one part I'm a bit scared of Bangladesh is there are so many poor people um, which don't have anything and I'm pretty sad about that and uh, that's the thing which, how should I say, makes my stomach ache because um, I'm a person with a really big heart and I wish that everyone could have a really nice life like most of the people here in Switzerland have. So that's a thing which we cannot compare. I think the overpopulation in Bangladesh is a big problem, which probably the government has to manage somehow. Um, compared with Switzerland, it is a bit more jammy. They have a lot of traffic, a lot of persons around. It's not so well organized, but still, life goes on. It's working, and um, yeah, Bangladesh lives day and night, and uh, that's the main thing. So compared with Switzerland, also the economics is uh, a bit different. In Switzerland, you have exactly rules from when to when you'll be working, what you have to do, when you have to do it, how you have to do it. So everything is strictly, strictly ruled. And um, I think this is a main point which is missing in Bangladesh with the economics. Uh, when you work with Bangladesh, you have to set up rules because otherwise they don't know exactly how to do um, Even another main point is uh, the, the payment. In Switzerland you have also rules for the payment, how much someone should earn, how long someone should work, um, either if it's women or men. Uh, you have exactly rules about everything and I think this is a big big issue in Bangladesh since people haven't got that rules or even if they are rules they don't you know take it too serious so I think that's a big issue and um, I think also the government should work on this big issue because it is a human right to have enough money to have enough um, to not have enough free time to have enough you know free space to have enough water food and uh, whatever you need to live so I think this is a big difference to Switzerland and this is a big issue from the Bangladeshi government or or economy or people living there. Um, yeah, but I think one really positive point is even if Bangladeshi people or some of them don't have too much like we have in Switzerland, like you know, a big apartment, cars, luxury, whatever, or even standards, they are happy. And this is um, you know, this is something really important because in our days people are arguing about things they shouldn't. People in Bangladesh, even if they have the minimum, they are happy with it. They are thankful and um, that's something that in Europe, not only in Switzerland, is getting lost. Because um, I think here, nowadays, everyone wants more, more, more. And sometimes it's also nice to be happy about small things in life. And I think Bangladeshi people know to appreciate small things. So, yeah, I think that's it.